How are you, my friends? This is uh, Calculus 1, Solved Questions, Finding the Vertical and Horizontal Asymptotes, Part 2. Please, you can go and check Part 1 for other questions. Question number 1. Let's find all the vertical and horizontal asymptotes of this function f of x is equal to 4 e to the power 2x all divided by 1 plus e to the power x squared. Now, to find the uh, horizontal asymptotes, we find the limit of the function as x goes to plus infinity, and also we try the limit as x goes to minus infinity. In the first line, we can see here the limit of the function. We divide the numerator and denominator by e to the power 2x. See here, up and down. We cancel this, we get 4 here. And then here we have squared e to the power 2x. So we can put it inside the bracket. 1 plus e to the x divided by e to the x all squared. So this becomes 1 over e to the power x plus 1. And this becomes 4. Let's find the limit as x goes to infinity. e to the power infinity will be infinity. 1 over infinity is 0 plus 1, 1 squared. So this will be 4. Now, the limit of the function as x goes to minus infinity, we don't have to divide here because x goes to minus infinity. So e to the power minus infinity will be 1 over e to the power infinity. So that will be 0 times the 4. The same here will be 1 plus the limit of e to the x as x, x goes to minus infinity will be 0. So it will be 0 over 1, which is 0. So in this case, we conclude that this function has two horizontal asymptotes, y equals four and y equals zero. No vertical asymptotes because no value for the x will make the denominator zero. Question number two says the function f of x is equal to x squared minus five x plus six divided by x squared minus six x plus eight has multiple choice question about asymptotes. One horizontal asymptote and two vertical asymptotes one slant asymptote and two vertical asymptotes, two horizontal, two vertical, one horizontal, one vertical, one horizontal, and one slant. Choose the correct answer. So what do we do? Anytime we see a rational function, we try to factor the numerator and denominator to check if there is any missing point or hole in the graph. So we factor, we factor the numerator, it's x minus two, x minus three, down we have x minus 4, x minus 2. We can cancel x minus 2. And we mention here x cannot be 2. And then the, the new function becomes x minus 3 divided by x minus 4. And there is a hole in the graph when you graph it. There is a missing point or hole at x equals 2. Now the function, this now has one horizontal because this is the same degree. So we take the leading coefficient over the leading coefficient. So y will be one is the horizontal asymptote. And the vertical asymptote, we take the denominator is equal to zero, x minus four is equal to zero, x will be four is the vertical asymptote. When we say a hole, it's a point on the graph missing. This is the x value. If you need the y value, take this x equals two and replace it here in the new function. Two minus three, divided by 2 minus 4. So it will be half. Question number three, find the equation of the slant asymptote of this function. y equals 6x cubed minus 4x squared plus 15x plus 4 all divided by 2x squared plus 5. To find the slant, we need the quotient after we divide the numerator by the denominator. Here we have long division. So we take 6x cubed minus 4x squared plus 15x plus 4 divided by 2x squared plus 5. I take the term with the highest power here, 6x cubed divided by 2x squared. So it will be 3x. Then I multiply 3x times all this divisor, and then I subtract. I put a bracket here to subtract. So the minus with this 15x will be canceled with the 15x. And then I'm left with minus 4x squared plus 4. Then I divide again the highest 
power here, the term minus 4x squared divided by 2x squared, I get minus 2. I multiply now minus 2 with this, becomes minus 4x squared, minus 2 with the 5, minus 10. Then I subtract again. This is in the long division process. Minus and minus becomes plus, and there is a 4, so the remainder is 14. We don't use the remainder when we find the slant asymptote. So for the equation of the slant asymptote, which is a straight line, we use only the quotient. So it will be y equals 3x minus 2 is the equation of the slant or oblique asymptote. Question number four, let's find all vertical and horizontal asymptotes of this function. f of x is equal e to the power x minus e to the power minus x divided by e to the power x plus e to the power minus x. We have to rewrite this function in two ways. See, I wrote it here on the right side, e to the power x, e to the power minus x. One time I multiply up and down by e to the power minus x. So this one, e to the power x times e to the power minus x becomes one because it is e to the power zero minus e to the power minus two x. Same thing here. Second way, I multiply up and down by e to the power x e to the power x, e to the power x, I add the powers, e to the power 2x minus 1. See, the whole idea, I'm leaving the function as 1 time e to the power minus x, 1 time e to the power x, because I need to take the limit of the function as x goes to plus infinity, and also the limit of the function as x goes to minus infinity. So this is the question now. The limit of this function as x goes to plus infinity I leave the function as 1 minus e to the minus 2x, 1 plus e to the power minus 2x. When I replace infinity there in the x, it will be e to the power minus infinity, 1 over infinity, which is 0. So the limit becomes 1 minus 0 over 1 plus 0, which is 1. So if the limit is 1, y equals 1 is horizontal asymptote. Same thing here, I have e to the power minus infinity, so I leave e to the power 2x minus 1, this is the second way, e to the power 2x plus 1. So it will be 0 minus 1 over 0 plus 1, which is minus 1. So the horizontal asymptote, another horizontal asymptote will be y equals minus 1. No vertical asymptotes for this function because the denominator cannot be 0 for any value of x. Question number 5, let's find the limit of this function square root of 2x squared plus 1 all divided by 3x minus 5 as x goes to minus infinity. And let's find any horizontal asymptote and let's find any vertical asymptotes. So to find the limit, let's take from the numerator, take x squared as a common factor, only from the numerator under the radical. So if you take x squared here, it will be 2 plus 1 over x squared. Now, square root of x squared will be absolute value of x, as you know that from algebra. Down here, I take x common factor from the denominator, so it will be x outside 3 minus 5 over x. Now, x goes to minus infinity, that means x is negative, and the absolute value will be minus x, because x is negative. Minus x, we divide by this x, we cancel the x. So we get minus, that's a minus one. And now I take the limit. I replace x by minus infinity, one over minus infinity squared, that will be zero, two plus zero. Five over infinity, that will be zero. So I have minus from outside, square root of two divided by three. So this will be the limit of the function as x goes to minus infinity. That means this is y equals minus square root of 2 divided by 3 is a horizontal asymptote. Now the vertical asymptote, I take the denominator equal to 0, 3x minus 5 is equal to 0, so x will be 5 over 3 is a vertical asymptote. Now for more questions on asymptotes, you can see the uh, lecture number 20 in the Calculus 1 lectures, and for more questions on general in Calculus 1, you can always visit the playlist Calculus 1 Solved Questions. 
Thank you for watching. If you like the video, you can subscribe and share it with your friends. I hope I can see you in another video with another topic. Thank you guys for listening.